Hey guys and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the ferrocactus and we're going to explore a little bit what this cactus is. Now, this is a solitary, fast-growing, barrel-ribbed cactus that is different from other types of species because it has much shorter hooked central spines. Now, this plant will become very beautiful once it ages so you will have to wait a little bit until it becomes the way it is supposed to be now the central spines have short but strong brown gray spines they are slightly hooked and they look a little bit strange when you look at them at the beginning but this is one of the main features of this beautiful plant the stem is round to elongated, usually dark green, around 30 centimeters or 12 inches in diameter. It can reach up to 40 centimeters to 100 centimeters tall. And it is absolutely beautiful when it grows beyond that, which is common for this plant when grown in nature, not when grown at home home so don't worry if your plant is not growing that much this is completely normal now when the plant flowers expect them to be orange to yellow the fruits are lemon and yellow in color and the seeds are black and shining the radial spines are around 7 to 10 short but steady now this plant is not that hard to care for especially during summer this plant grows slowly and is suited for any rich well-drained soil such as clay pumice lava grit and only a little peat or leaf mold if potted or repotted do so preferably in spring. Now, if you notice that the roots have become cramped, that is a sign that you need to pot. Now, generally, they should be repotted every other year just to provide fresh soil. However, this does not necessarily mean that they need a larger container, so be careful when you're repotting them. Now, fill about a quarter of the pot with broken crock, gravel, and etc. to promote good drainage. After potting, do not water for a week or more. Usually you should water regularly during Easter growth cycle. This plant needs plenty of water, but do not overwater as overwatering may lead the plant to rot and die. Now also avoid wetting the body of this plant while it is in sunlight a wet cactus in the sunlight can cause the sun to sunburn the cactus which can lead to scars or even fungal infections and death to your cactus during winter keep this beautiful plant dry no water should ever be allowed to stand around the roots Feed it with high potassium fertilizer in summer. Now, if you try to propagate the plant, then the only way to do so is by seeds. This plant has light frost protection and is safe for cultivation, but can tolerate a little bit of frost, but it needs rest from this frost so be careful where you place this plant when they're exposed to sunlight think full sun or half shade in the summer especially if you live in a hot and bright location it can tolerate moderate shade and the plant will be growing slower in shade but it will be beautiful nonetheless now, the 
thank you for watching our video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video share it and i see you in the next one